In this video, we're going to have a look at what integers are and how to order and compare them. Do you remember that in the previous chapter, we had a look at whole numbers? This is the set of numbers that starts at zero and increases with one every time up to infinity. So even though up to now we only focus on the numbers to the right of zero, there are just as many numbers to the left of zero. And these are all negative numbers. So we have negative numbers and positive numbers that are separated by the zero. And these two groups of numbers are each other's mirror image. The negative numbers are clearly indicated with a minus in front, where the positive numbers have no sign in front, and we then accept that it is a plus. All of these numbers together form a new set of numbers, which we call integers. An example of where integers will be used is when we measure sea level. An area that lies exactly on sea level will have a zero height above sea level, where an area that is higher than sea level will have a positive height above sea level, and one that is lower than sea level will have a negative height above sea level. Another example will be temperatures. A temperature of zero degrees Celsius is where water freezes. Anything warmer than this will be a positive temperature, and anything that's even colder will be negative. Now that you know what integers are, you should also be able to order and compare them. To compare values, we use the smaller than, bigger than, and equal signs. As we move to the right on our number line, the values become bigger and bigger. And as you move to the left on the number line, the values become smaller. In the chapter on whole numbers, we already had a look at comparing two positive values. When you compare a negative and a positive value, the positive value will always be bigger than the negative value because the positive values lie to the right of the negative values. So as an example, we can say that minus 7 is definitely smaller than 7. But when it comes to comparing two negative values, you need to be careful. For example, here, even though positive 8 is bigger than positive 5, here the minus in front of the 8 indicates that it is more to the left than minus 5, which means it is smaller than minus 5. So minus 5 is in fact bigger than minus 8. So here you can remember that the bigger negative the value is, the smaller it is in reality. Example 1. Complete by filling in the correct sign. Here we have two negative values. Minus 190 is less negative than minus 200, which means it is more to the right and therefore bigger than minus 200. Example 2. Arrange in decreasing order. I would advise you to first separate the negative from the positive values in this group. It is also important to realize that you are asked to arrange in descending order which means from biggest to smallest, and in essence then from right to left on our number line. So the first value will be the biggest positive value in our set, and that is 15. Our second biggest positive value is 12, and then lastly we have 2. Next we have the 0, and then comes all our negative values. Here we start off with the least negative value, which in essence has the smallest number if we ignore the sign, and that is minus 12. And then finally we have our minus 20, which is the biggest negative value, but the smallest value in our set. In the next few videos we're going to have a look at how to add, subtract, multiply and divide using integers.